Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Samir Amiri and in this video I want you to pay very close attention because I'm gonna explain you some things that you need to know for your CBR car theory exam and you will also need to know it for your own future. So definitely keep watching and before you start watching give a blue thumb up and also subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any new video. And also don't forget to follow us on social media because there we can give you updates on a daily basis. If you want to pass on one go for your car theory exam then go to www.theorystart.nl because we can help you passing in one go for your car theory exam. Let's start! see signs or you are gonna see signs on the road that will tell you the maximum speed and you have to be able to recognize the road recognize the sign and know what the maximum speed is well here in the beginning we see two signs one with Maastricht and one with Maastricht and a cross over it well if you see the one without the cross it's telling you that you are entering the city of Maastricht when you see the red cross over it it's telling you that you are leaving the city you are leaving the build-up area okay so here the question is after which sign is the maximum speed 50 kilometers per hour it's when you enter so the right answer here is b when you enter the city when you enter maastricht it doesn't matter which city you are entering then the maximum speed will always be 50 kilometers per hour do you also know the maximum speed when you leave this build-up area correctly that's 80 kilometers per hour so if you see the one with the cross over it then the maximum speed will be 80 kilometers per hour Without the cross, it will be 50 kilometers per hour. On this sign, you see a maximum speed. That's false. We already discussed this sign, right? You remember? The blue square. This is an advisory speed. This sign is advising you to drive 50 kilometers per hour. It's not a maximum speed. You see this traffic sign. What is the maximum speed? Well, you see 50 with the three black stripes over it. And that one is telling you that the maximum speed will be 80 from now on. So here the answer is B. What is the maximum speed after this traffic sign? Well, here you see that you are entering Harlow. So it's the same as what we discussed already. You are entering the build-up area, you are entering the city. So the maximum speed will be 50 kilometers per hour. Well, this one we also discussed. What is the maximum speed after this sign? Correctly. What is the maximum speed of a car with trailer? Do you know that? Is it A, 120 or B, 90 kilometers per hour? Good, it's 90 kilometers per hour. So with a trailer, you cannot drive 120. The maximum speed, 90 kilometers per hour. What is the maximum speed in a residential area? A, 15 kilometers per hour or B, 30 kilometers per hour? This is a question where many people make mistakes because almost everyone thinks it's 30, but it's 15 kilometers per hour. So if you are driving here, the maximum speed is 15 kilometers per hour. Not 30, 50. What is the maximum speed on the highway? Is that 80 or 100? Correctly, it's 100. So they are asking for the maximum speed. But also remember that there are many situations on a highway that the maximum speed will be 80. But standard, it's 100. So here we see two different highways. On which road is the maximum speed 100 kilometers per hour? Do you know it, A or B? Correctly, it's B. If you see the green line, then the maximum speed will always be 100 kilometers per hour. Without the green line, it's 80. You can remember it very easily, a 100 euro bill. It's green, right? Correctly. So 100 euro bill, if you see the green line on the road, then it's telling you that the maximum speed is 100. Okay? What is the minimum speed on a motorway? So if you see this sign, what will the minimum speed be? A, 50 or B, 60 kilometers per hour. Correctly, it's 60. So if your vehicle cannot drive 60, then you cannot enter this road. So mopeds cannot enter it, bicycles obviously not. So your vehicle must be able to drive faster than 60 so it can enter. It's 7 o'clock. You are driving 120 kilometers per hour. Is that allowed? Read the two signs. You see one, 100, and that's telling you in between 6 and 7, the maximum speed is 100. And from 7 in the evening until 6 in the morning, 
the maximum speed is 120. So you're at seven o'clock in the evening. Can you drive 120? Yes. What is the minimum follow distance when we are driving 130 kilometers per hour? Is that A, 7.15 meters or is that B, 71.5 meters? It's 71.5 meters. But now maybe you might ask yourself, but how should I know this? There is a very easy calculation for this. 130 divided by two, and then you add 10% to it. So 130 divided by two is 65, 10% of 65 is 6.5, so 71.5. And you can use this calculation for every question. So you first divide the speed by two, and then you add 10% to it, or just add a little bit to it, and it's fine. So divide it by two, add a little bit, and that's the correct answer. So here you can try it out yourselves. What is the minimum follow distance when you are driving 70 kilometers per hour? You start to understand it. The follow distance can also be expressed in seconds. So here they're asking how many seconds is the minimum follow distance? Is that A, two seconds or B, five seconds? The correct answer to that is two seconds in all the normal situations. If it's rainy, snowy or any other situation, then it is longer than two seconds. So if they are saying it's raining, then you always have to add one second to it. Normal situation, the minimum follow distance is two seconds. Rainy, snowy, three seconds. Depending on the situation, it can even be four or five. But here the answer is A. The last question you can read here and I want you to answer it down below in the comments. This was it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. If you want to know all the questions that you need to know, go to www.theorystar.nl and pass in one go for your car theory exam. And don't forget to give a blue thumb up and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can pass in one go for your car theory exam. And also don't forget to follow us on social media because there we can give you updates on a daily basis. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video. Goodbye.